I was just reading an article about international organizations, theories, and institutions. Um, the part that I was at all along thinking about equal money and the principles of the equal money system and the common sense of it compared to the system that we've ended up with as a result of basically profit and capitalism and whatever it is that you want to call the current economic system. I just read a quote that made me think about common sense versus consequences of capitalism. The quote is that Fisheries agreements often specify precise quotas of particular fish species for national fleets. This is a property right because ships from a given country have the right to fish up to the quota and no more. So I was thinking about that and thinking, why would states overfish? I understand if you can determine somehow a sustainable level to fish at and and then just continue to fish at that level um that should be an agreement because obviously it would be best for all to fish sustainably so that we can all continue to have fish instead of overfishing and depleting the population and nobody getting any fish so It's just interesting to me that that has to be a rule because it should just be an understanding as what's best for all as is the principle of an equal money system. But in our current system and within international relations, we have to make these rules and then enforce them, which is almost impossible to do, but... Because states want to overfish, because if they fish more, they get more money. So it's like this temptation or this desire to cheat on the agreement because of the immediate profit, as in self-interest, that that country would obtain in the short term. So if you take money out of the this whole equation then you're just left with common sense. You fish for as much fish as is required to feed your population and that's it. And If that's an unsustainable level, then you find other ways to feed your population that's not fish. Other ways that are sustainable. In an equal money system, that would be quite possible because we would be able to afford to fund or to make possible research into how to feed a population sustainably. And that would be the way that it's done, because that's what makes sense. So, the current system we live in, it creates conflict and friction. And this constant battle of just trying to contain ourselves from overdoing overdoing everything, over-consuming, over-fishing wanting to break the rules so that we can make more profit and all of that will be eliminated when profit is eliminated and even with that conflict and that fight to gain more we live in a world of lack so it's interesting that if you take the profit out everybody actually will have enough thank you